What's your name? Leslie Doy. And you're homeless? Yes. How long? What happened? Um, five years I've been homeless because of the rents being too high and, um, um, well, and drug issues. So. Sure. So what is, what's going on down at the Cobo Show? Okay, what's happening now is um, that they're um, making us take our bags out. And, right, and they want us to be productive, but there's no way that we can be productive. And if we have to take our bags out and go and try and get jobs. So you can't leave your clothes, so is that what you're saying? Right. We cannot leave our clothes there, and um, it's unsanitary, especially if we got to go doctors. Other people may get sick because of our clothing being, you know, Out, put together right. and, you know, things like that. It's unsanitary. Is this a new policy? Um, I'm not sure how long it's been there. I've been there for like two months. And they just started this or when did they No, start? I don't think they just, well, they just started the part where we had to take our bags out, yeah. Because at one time we could to keep two bags there and um, be all right and go on to our programs that we need to go to, um, mm -hmm. um, um, things like um, um, going to housing and right. going to um, um, job yeah. searching, right? things like that. But now they want us um, to take our bags out. And if we don't take our bags out, they throw our clothes away. And they said that if we go into the trash can and get our clothes back out, and some of them got IDs, and, it, and, and birth certificates and everything that they really need, she said she'll call the police. So and this is Ms. they're Charlie. telling you if they don't, if you don't, if you don't take your clothes out with you, they're gonna throw them out. Right. What does that mean to someone who's homeless? Um, it, that that's their pride and joy. I mean, that's all they have. So it, it's something personal. This that's personal to us. You when know, we should have the right to. Um, we should have the right to um, keep our stuff there, being that we'd be there 24 hours. It's a 24-hour shelter. Mm -hmm. You know, and we should be able to keep our stuff there, especially if we're coming back. And they, all they have to do is just go ahead and say that um, um, if you don't come back within that 24 hours, yeah, we're going to throw your stuff away, you know? Mm -hmm. But they should give us a chance. They want us to be productive, but we can't be productive because we have to go and take yeah. our bags with us and stuff and like how that. how did they tell you about this policy? What happened? Um, they told us this because some of the girls was having too many bags. Said, okay, so then they said, okay, we're going to cut it down to two bags. Right. And then they cut it down to two bags. And then the next thing you know, they said, we got to take our bags with us. And, oh. and that happened within two weeks. Time. So what's it like going to your job when you have this whole bag of clothes with you? And stuff? Like, it's it's embarrassing. And plus, it's embarrassing. And plus, it's... um. They're not going to hire us. They're just going to say, well... This is a bum. We don't need to hire him. And we're going to be um, rejected. So what is it that you're going to do tomorrow? Okay, we're going to get up around, we got to get up around 5 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to get ourselves together. It's not like we organized anything. We're just tired. You know, we're going to march over there to City Hall from Guilford Avenue, 210 Guilford Avenue. We're going to march over to the City Hall, put our bags in front of the place. Oh, really? Yeah. So how many people do you think are going to participate? Um, the whole, it should be the whole shelter. The whole shelter? Like we're nothing, not worthy of anything. The, it, the greats, I mean, the greats is in, in is, and in, in makes us have, like, no dignity. You know, and, and they need to stop what they're doing. Um, the, um, where we're at, at the Code Blue, the staff talks us any kind of way. The police, um, go with what the staff say, and they, and they, um, um, laugh at us, the police do, the staff, um, well, the police laughs at us and, and, and they bullies and, and, and they say, we'll take you to jail and, and they can even put us out of the, um, um, complex if we talk back or something. Yeah. But for me, I talks back. Yeah. You know, so. They don't understand how hard it is on the street and how dangerous it is. Right. Because we have old old people that that lives at the um, shelter that get beat up, especially on check days. They get beat up and taken from other people that lives in shelters. So really? That's that's the, that's the um the, the So they beat up and take their money when you get like the beginning of the month. The, uh, elderly, they they do food in the shelter. Elderly. In the shelter and outside the shelter, people um um gangs. Well, they call this a bum park gang or whatever. What's it called? Bum park gang. Bum park gang. I, I don't know what. With them. Are they young kids? They're young kids, and they will bother the old and take their stuff, you know, things like that, take their money and stuff so like that. So they come and they know what time? They know when to do it. They know when to do it. 
And what do they call themselves? I, 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 all I know is they're from Bum Park, so I call them the Bum Park Gang. But I have friends and stuff that deal, they used to deal with them and trying to leave them alone, mm -hmm. and they're after them now. When you say after them, they're targeting after them? them. Yeah, they want to fight them, and they said they're going to stab them up and all that kind of crazy stuff. They've so. been following them. Um, they follow um, the girl and the boy. Wherever they go, they follow them, you know, to fight them. And they told them to get out of Baltimore, you know. And these, these teens aren't homeless. They're just... They're homeless, too. Oh. Wow, where are they living? I, I don't know. I, don't, I have no but idea. But they're homeless teens. They're homeless teens. Who are beating up on the older homeless. Right. 